Hi, I'm George Ferguson, and I'm the instructor for BUS 121. In this video, we're going to be going over the expectations for the course, and then also how to navigate through the course to access all the things that are necessary so that you can be successful in the class. Now, first of all, I'd just like to welcome you to the course, and also thank you for being a part of Johnson County Community College. Now, in this course, in this video, we're going to be going over the things that are necessary for both the eight week and the 16 week sessions. You'll need to make sure that you check the due dates for all of the assignments within the instructions for each week and within each week's module. So let's get started. Let's look at some of the key things that go along with this course. Now, when you go into Canvas and you click on the course, you're going to hit this landing page right here. In the landing page, it gives you some background as far as connecting to day one access and connect. The course has day one access, which is basically an online text and then also all of the things that are necessary for uh, the, the class. There will be readings and questions that need to be answered. There are going to be application exercises. There's going to be various things that you need to do as far as the course is concerned. So you need to make sure that you get connected with Connect and the day one access as soon as possible. There's a video that shows how to do that. Now, let's look at the syllabus and the things that are going to be necessary and required for the course. When you're looking at the syllabus at the top, you'll see my contact information, my office hours, and things like that. Feel free to stop by anytime. And if you need to meet or talk and it's outside of the office hours, just give me a shout, either by phone or email. We'll, we can go ahead and schedule something at, at other times. Talks about the course information. And then here is the textbook for the class. And again, it's online using day one access. There will no be no digital proctoring or Zoom recording of any of the classes or the discussions that we might have. Hopefully you've read over the announcements as far as the uh, description when you were uh, registering for the course and then also the objectives that we have for this course. Things like, you know, understanding what business is really all about and what are the management processes? What about marketing? What about finance? Some basic finance and accounting. We're not trying to make anybody accountants in here. We're just giving you an overview as far as how business actually uses finance and accounting, which is the language of, a bit of business. This is day one access course. So you have access to it right from the very beginning. All you have to do is connect to it. Again, watch the video to see how to do that. Classes meet online and everything is asynchronous, right? Now a week goes from Monday to Sunday. And each week, there's going to be a series of things like readings, uh, discussion boards, uh, application activities, written assignments, exams, things like this. The readings need to be completed by either Wednesday or Thursday for the initial readings and then by or by Sunday. So you have to make sure that you watch the due dates for each of the assignments that are out there. You have discussion forums. In other words, the initial post needs to be done by either Wednesday or Thursday. Make sure you're checking the due dates on this and the information that's in the in the modules and responses to others by Sunday. Now, the minimum for the discussions is your initial post by either Wednesday or Thursday, whatever the schedule is, and responses by Sunday. And that has to be three significant responses something more than I like your post. Just meeting the minimums will get you either six or seven points out of 10. In other words, that's average. That's a C. To earn more points, what you do is you get involved early and you stay involved in the course. You bring in new information. You bring in new articles. I see the discussion boards as another learning opportunity to get more information that you could have gotten uh, from just the text by going out and finding other articles and other information that go along with the topics, you're actually learning more. And by bringing that into the discussions, you're helping others learn more. I also require that people read all of the discussion posts and responses throughout the week, because that's where a lot of the learning comes from. 
I get very involved in the discussions and I will bring in a lot of other information. So I really, really push that you also make sure that you read. You don't have to respond, but read, especially my posts and all the other posts that people bring to it. You're going to have some weekly assignments, either a written assignment or application activity. That's a part of Connect. Make sure you check the due dates for those things. There will be several exams. Now, I, what I do is I open up the exams um, for the eight weeks on like Friday, and it must be completed by Sunday. For the 16 weeks, there's going to be a Friday date that the exams are due. Make sure that you focus in and understand when those exams are supposed to be happening because I do not do makeups. If you miss one, sorry, you've lost the points. Then there'll be a final reflection paper that goes along with the, uh, the, the course where you step back and you say, what were some of the key things I learned in this course? And you describe those things in detail. And then how am I going to use those in the future? When I'm in business or I'm in a particular job or I decided to own a business, how am I actually going to use those things? All assignments are due by the prescribed date. I do not accept late work. If the system crashes and we can't get into it or anything like that, you won't be held responsible for anything that comes in late. We'll make arrangements for all that. I'm also big on freedom of speech. People have the right to express their point of view without being um, chastised or anything like that. Now, you may not agree with it. That's okay. You can and you can have some of those discussions. Well, you know, I disagree, and here's why. The thing is, people have the right to express their opinion. I want to make it as safe as possible because that's where a lot of the learning comes from, from some of those different ideas that come along with it. Now, one of the other things that I want people to understand is when you have a position, you state that position, you better have some background and some other evidence to support that position. Otherwise, you get what I call shared ignorance. And we'll talk more about that as we go through the semester. I will get back to you within, as it says here, within 48 hours. I do everything I can to get back to people within the same day if I'm not available. You call, you get voicemail. I'll get back to you. I try to get back to you that same day. One of the things that I do is bust my rear end to make sure that I get things graded as quickly as possible. Everything that might be due by Sunday, my Mondays are spent grading and giving feedback. I like to make sure that people know exactly where they stand as quickly as possible. You turn something in, I'm going to do everything I can to turn that around ASAP. And the reason is because people like to know how they did whenever they submit something. So I'm going to turn things around as quickly as possible. You need to attend. And if you do not attend by submitting a graded assignment within the first week, you will be dropped. That's a school policy. So you need to make sure that you get involved and you stay involved throughout the week. I don't do late. I don't do makeups. I don't do, I don't accept late work. You have the evaluation and the grading scale so that you know what grades you get based on the number of points that are earned. I don't do faculty initiated withdrawal. In other words, there are people who have a tendency to just kind of disappear. I won't withdraw them. Okay, they've made a decision. They have to suffer the consequences. You have the student code of conduct. Make sure you're familiar with that. Academic dishonesty, don't cheat. And that includes no AI-generated papers. Canvas actually does a check as far as plagiarism and AI generation. So... AI generation, plagiarism, as far as copying other people's folk, uh, stuff, is considered cheating and will not be tolerated. If you need accommodations, make sure you get in touch with Access Services. Access Services wants to make sure that you are as uh, successful as possible. And they work with us to make sure that you get those successful things. We have some good counselors. Make sure you get in touch with them. If they will help you with making sure that you're getting the right courses for your to meet your goals. And then also, if you have other issues that might crop up, maybe they can help you out with that. Make sure you, you're familiar with the drop deadlines as far as when you can get back 100% of your 
uh, fees or what it takes before it becomes a W or an F, that sort of thing. Be familiar with the campus health and safety measures and campus safety. We do everything we can to make sure that you stay safe, both physically and your data. There's also information as far as the technical requirements for the computers that are need to be used for the classes. Now, this class does not use any kind of special software, so you don't have to worry about that. In fact, most of everything that we can do in this class can be done with just a Chromebook. A lot of times I'm using just a Chromebook in order to do some of the things for the classes. All papers need to be submitted in either PDF or Microsoft or open document text types of formats. No Apple formats are allowed. The reason is because Canvas can't open an Apple stuff. I can't open Apple stuff. Apple doesn't play well with anyone but Apple. So everything needs to be preferably in PDF or in Windows or Open Document. Then you get into the tentative course schedule. This is kind of a Reader's Digest view as far as the things that are going to be covered as far as the topics by week and the things that need to be submitted within Canvas. So look all of these things over to get a better understanding as far as some of the expectations as far as the course is concerned. Now, navigation. Again, when you log into the course, you'll come to this landing page and you'll see that one of the things that I've done is add a series of buttons that are quick links to some of the key things that are used within the course. So for example, you can go to the announcements and be able to see all the announcements that have been done to date. Now, the announcements, the most recent announcement, will always show here at the top. You have the Start Here section. Now, the Start Here section is very important. One of the things that I want people to do is make sure they go through all the videos that are within the Start Here section, because that helps you understand more about how to use Canvas and what the expectations are. So, for example, connecting to Day One Access, completing the reading assignments, in other words, going through all of the questions that are necessary for each of the chapters. How do you submit your assignments in Canvas? How do you review your grades? How do you participate in the discussions? And then also, how do you use Zoom? Now, you have the syllabus. One of the areas that's most important as far as the class is concerned is the module section. One of the things that I have done is put everything together within modules. Everything you need for a week will be within that week's modules. And you can see that it has, okay, here are the dates for the various modules and this sort of thing. And again, you need to check the dates for your section, be it an eight week or a 16 week course. The first module, are sample papers, sample excellent papers that have been submitted. To give you an idea as far as what is it that we're looking for as far as these final papers are concerned. And it also has a link to you to get to the APA formatting style guide. Now, each section will have everything you need for the week, including the very first thing in, within each module that has instructions for the week. The instructions for the week will have a video going over, here are the key things that are due this week. Here are the things to think about. And it's typically, you know, one to two minutes long. It gets into, here are the key things we're going to be learning and going over in this module. And then shows you by day what things are required and are due and why you do them. Now, with each of the things that need to be submitted, you'll see that there are hot links to those things. What I'm trying to make it, what I'm trying to do is make it as easy as possible to navigate through some of this stuff and try to find some of the things that are necessary. So you can go to the weekly instructions and be able to access everything that's necessary for the course, be it readings, discussions, exams. There may be other other um, articles and things to be read also. You'll see the links for those things. So everything that you need for the week will be within the module and accessible from the instructions page. 
Now, if you don't want to do it from the instructions page, you'll see that the links and access things are here. Now, when we start talking about discussions, you'll see that the discussion has, okay, well, here's a question, here's some things to be answered. And you'll see that it has in here, minimum requirements are due by, uh, the, the initial post is due by this date and responses by this date and meeting minimum results in an average or a C grade. And you earn more points by getting more involved. Make sure you watch the video as far as how to do and how to utilize the discussions. You have the exams. The exams are all multiple choice. Each exam will be 30 questions. And once you start, you have 50 minutes, five zero minutes to get it finished. So there'll be several exams that need to be completed. And there will be a final reflection and action paper. And the reflection and action paper explains what is it that's necessary. It also has the rubric that goes along with how is that going to be graded? How is it going to be judged? The discussions also has a rubric where you can see the rubric by clicking here, showing the rubric, and it shows you how the discussions will be judged. So for timeliness, so let's say that uh, you don't post the minimum, okay? You'll get zero out of two points for that. Writing, I hold people accountable for their writing. So you wanna make sure that you're writing well, you're proofing it well, things like that. Relevance of your posting, in other words, are you going into and giving good detail and depth as far as answering that question? Or are you kind of blowing it off? You have quality of responses. In other words, are you just doing a, hey, I, dude, I really liked your post. That's not going to help anything as far as, as far as furthering the discussion. What you want to do is state your position and provide support. Bring in other articles and evidence for what it is that you're setting up. And then contribution to the learning process. Are you uh, missing posts or just posting everything at the last minute so that so it's late, so late that people don't read it, can't read it? Or are you checking in on a consistent basis, exhibiting an intellectual curiosity, challenging people, bringing in new information, asking questions, things like that? So there's the rubric that goes along with the discussions. And then the grades. You can check your grades at any one point in time and find out where it is that you stand and what is it that's actually been going on. You can see what your grade is so far right there. And within each of the assignments, it will show you what your score is. There's also things where it will show any comments that were left for the assignment and showing the rubric results. So make sure you consistently go back and review your grade so that you know exactly where you stand. And I'm also open to any kind of, uh, of uh, extra credit, so let me know. So those are the key things as far as the class is concerned. If you have questions, give me a shout.